Coming up on the Fox 13 Quick Cast, some Utah companies are helping to protect first responders during the COVID-19 pandemic. See how local National Guardsmen are gearing up for deployment ahead of the virus. And the important message the Salt Lake County Health Department had about a tweet that's gone viral. This is a Fox 13 Quick Cast. It is a public-private partnership to fight COVID-19. It's called Crush the Curve. Silicon Slopes started a website to boost testing and COVID-19 tracing. Questions at testutah.com determine whether you're eligible for a test, symptoms or not. There are two mobile testing centers in Orm and Provo with plans to add, to add up to eight more. Developers say the data will help the state response and find any possible hot spots. We're doing this because we have families here. This is no, there's no other reason. Like we care about the community. We care about our children. We care about our parents. We care, like that's why we're doing this. The goal is to have every Utah assessed and double the number of tests analyzed in the state. Health officials say there are now 1,074 cases of COVID-19 in Utah. That's up from 1,012 yesterday. Today's numbers are based on fewer than 1,000 COVID-19 tests, which is actually lower than in past days. Utah will suspend work requirements for Medicaid. Utah Health Department says the self-sufficiency requirement for Medicaid recipients is, are waived effective immediately. It's anticipated more people will seek Medicaid assistance as unemployment grows during the pandemic. The Utah Attorney General's office is distributing much needed protective supplies donated by Utah businesses. The AG's office is sending those supplies to rural police and fire departments who say they're in desperate need of them. PC Laptops, Ogden's Own Distillery, and Sherwin-Williams have donated thousands of gloves, masks, and hand sanitizer. We want to make sure that they're safe and, and, and virus free so that um, there's no uh, spread of infection. We received them today and we've already passed them out. Um, we've uh, assigned or issued them to every one of our patrol officers. Nephi police say some of their 11 officers didn't have any protective gear. Now they do. Kristen. All right, it's cold out there and temperatures are still dropping. In fact, it will be colder tonight than last night, but at least we won't have the snow to deal with. That snow is long gone now and we'll get to enjoy some sunshine. So temperatures right now are falling into the 30s. We're already down to the single digits up at Alta. We're at 32 in Logan, 30s down to Cedar City and in the 50s still in St. George. You can see those skies are nice and clear out there. Tomorrow morning, temperatures will be in the upper 20s. So do get ready for a hard freeze tonight. Uh, we'll start in the teens for the Wasatch back, low 40s down south. But tomorrow afternoon will feel really nice. Lots of sunshine, a beautiful day. Low 50s for the Wasatch front, near 40 for the Wasatch back, and in the 60s down south. Southern Utah, temps will continue to warm. Mid 70s this weekend before unsettled weather next week. And in northern Utah, temperatures will climb into the mid 60s this weekend. Should be beautiful, a little more unsettled as we head into next week. Thank you, Kristen. More Apache helicopters have been spotted over South Valley Airport in West Jordan lately. Other states have ordered their National Guard troops to assist with COVID-19 response, but that's not the case here in Utah. Here, the focus for the 1st 211th Aviation Regiment is preparing for deployment. As we all try to react to, to COVID-19 and, and be prepared for that, we still have to be trained and ready. And as dangerous as this is and, and the risk that exposure is to our families, Right now, our mission is still to go and support the soldiers who are on the ground as aviation. That is our primary mission. The deployment is unrelated to COVID-19. It's a mission to the Middle East. Roughly 400 soldiers and two dozen Apache helicopters are going a few weeks from now. Finally tonight, the Salt Lake County Health Department got involved in a roommate drama in Rexburg. BYU-Idaho sophomore Chelsea Fonseca didn't want her roommate's boyfriend to come over because she's immunocompromised. And she expressed that on Twitter, but her roommate said her boyfriend Brett was going to come over anyway. Salt Lake County Health Department chimed in with a hashtag, stay home, Brett. I just felt like... Maybe the validation of a government agency, you know, making a suggestion to someone like that in a small dispute could bring some validation to a very serious message. And the good news is, Chelsea says, Brett decided to stay home. That's the Fox 13 Quick Cast, the day's top stories in just five minutes. Don't go anywhere. Modern Family starts now. <laughs>